It's Tank Bob today, and today we're going to show you step by step how to turn this flock bullseye into a glitter bullseye. So, let's get started. For the first step of this, to take all this flocking off, I started by taking apart the pop. So you can see this one's actually got three or four different parts. So you got this here, and see I've got most of the flocking off of this one already. And then I took this apart. Now I always use a hairdryer to get this apart, and it loosens the glue, the glue where it's glued in right here. And this is how I do all, all anytime I take a pop apart, I just use a hairdryer. I know you can do it in boiling water, but it's just easier for me to do it with the hairdryer. And you can see that there's some flocking in here once I took it apart, so I'm gonna have to clean all that out. The only flocking that I left on it was this red, the outside red circle, and that's just so that I know where to put the red glitter later on whenever I'm putting the glitter on because it's it does, the inside red circle is painted. The outside one is it's flocking. They look like they just maybe stamped it with red dye or something. So you got that, and then you got this part. This is two extra pieces too. And usually whenever um, I do this, I'll take it and I'll cut this piece just in case later on I want to uh, take it back apart again so then I don't have to pop all this back off and stuff like that. I'll just go around and cut some of the edge off of it so then it'll kind of pop back on and off a little easier. There you go. See, so now it'll now it'll fit back in there, and it'll pop back on, but it'll pop off a lot easier than it would if it was the solid, solid piece. So I always do that, and then you can tell this has got some flocking underneath of it. We'll have to take all that off, and this flocking comes off pretty easy. There was a couple spots on the head that was a little harder, but as you can see, it comes off fairly easy. And then I'll just use my knife to get in there. And the reason I'm taking the flocking off before I put the glitter on is just because I don't know if the I don't know if the glitter would stick to the flocking, so I didn't want to try to do it. And you can also see that there's flocking inside of here. So I don't know if they flock it before they put it together. I don't know how it works, but there's that. And then this will go back in there. See, it still pops on, pops on good. It'll, it'll just pop off a lot easier next time I wanna take it apart, if I need to take it apart again. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be using to glitter it. I got this Mod Podge right here. And then the glitter that I'm using is this extra fine right here. And I think I picked this up at Walmart and I got this at Hobby Lobby last time whenever I did the Sprout Glitter Pop. So all I do is I'll start putting this on. I'll just do this front leg real fast. You want to cover it pretty good. Now I won't do the bottom just, just because there's no point in doing the bottom and then if it's sitting on the feet it'll probably just wear off anyways. And you want to work in small sections. So like I said, I'm just going to start off with this leg. Go all the way around it. And then I work over this plate so that I can keep all the extra glitter and it's not making a mess. And then you just, you just want to dump it on there. And any extra that you get on the plate, you can always just put back in the container. So you want to cover it pretty good. Just 
trying to get the back. And then you just shake it off. Now you can see that front leg's pretty much done. Okay, so this we just finished doing it and it looks really good so it's pretty cool mm -hmm. about it and it looks really good mm -hmm. it turned out to be really good i don't know if it was going to be good because well well the better. white doesn't show up as much as that sprout yeah. did but because the eye you, i'll put it on the uh 360 thing So yeah, he ended up pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, he was good. You can barely tell that we didn't take the flocking off the eye because mm -hmm. under it doesn't have any red. So yeah. we can't do that. Mm -hmm. I it's think he cool. ended up looking pretty yeah. good. So you can see that there. So if you want to do this, you can go Oh, the last it. step that I didn't show was uh, after we got through with all the glitter, mm -hmm. I just sprayed it with... Um, I can't remember if I sprayed it with this one or the other one. But anyway, I sprayed it with this clear coat and uh, just to hold all the glitter in. And so now you touch it and the glitter doesn't, I mean, the glitter didn't come off that much before, but now it doesn't come off at all. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, so we did this with the Sprout Pop. Mm -hmm. Go check out that video if you want to see how to do that. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but, but in that video, I didn't yeah. really show how to do it or nothing. Yeah, this was like, you did some stuff. Yeah, I did some close-ups of it and stuff like yeah. that. So, if you've ever done this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. comment down below. Or so, what pops would you like to see glitter? Oh, yeah. We're probably, we're definitely going to do more. Mm -hmm. Well, not like a lot more, but no. more, for sure. We but, really like doing the ad icons, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, so like, Mr. Owl, that would be cool. But we don't have more, we can't mm -hmm. like get another one of that, so. Yeah, we only did this one because we got four of the flocked one that day. So, mm -hmm. so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that. It's been the episode of Stack Pops. Buy Stack Pops. There's.